Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. We have been talking about the various menus of the Nikon Z72 camera. It is an amazing camera and I have been using it not only to take still photographs but also amazing videos. I have been explaining all the options that we have in the various menus so that we can use the functions and to get best results in the way you want it. In the last video, we were talking about the movie shooting menu. I had talked about the functions in ISO sensitivity all the way to set picture control. I will be talking about the rest of the important features that you should keep in mind when you are shooting a video indoor or outdoor. Before we start, let's take a second to like, share and subscribe to my channel. This will ensure that you will always get the latest videos and do not forget to comment and also put your questions in the comment box. All this helps me to make relevant videos and answer your questions. Now let's continue with the active delighting, flicker reduction, microphone sensitivity, wind noise reduction and the headphone volume. Let's start with the active delighting. This is a Nikon function that helps your camera to reproduce high dynamic range scenes. This happens when your image has first a lot of very bright areas, second a lot of mid tones and third a lot of very dark areas. Under these conditions, the camera exposure latitude cannot capture the entire range of tones. Active delighting helps with this. Active delighting preserves the details with highlights and shadows, creating videos with the natural contrast. Use this for high contrast scenes, for example, taking a brightly lit outdoor through a door or a window or taking a picture of a subject standing in shade in a bright or a sunny day. Active delighting is most effective when it is used with matrix metering. When you use this with auto, the camera automatically adjusts to the shooting conditions. If you use this on any other mode, it will adjust according to the setting. You can switch this off by using the off mode. Please remember that noise in the form randomly spaced light pixels, fog or lines may appear while using active delighting. Active delighting does not apply on high, high ISO sensitivity settings. Now let's start with flicker reduction. When powered with alternating current, fluorescent lamps and certain artificial lighting flicker at the rate determined of the frequency of the power supply, which depending on the timing of the shutter release may produce areas of uneven colors or exposure. Flicker reduction helps prevent this by matching the timing of the shutter release to the flicker rate. Flicker reduction can detect the flicker at 100 or 120 hertz associated with the AC power supplies of 50 and 60 hertz. Flicker may not be detected or the desired results may not be achieved with dark backgrounds. Bright light sources or decorating lighting displays and other non-standard lighting Depending on the light source, there may be a slight delay before the shutter is released. In addition, the desired results may not be achieved if the frequency of the power supply changes during shooting. The flicker reduction option in the movie shooting menu can be used to adjust flicker reductions for movie mode. In most circumstances, we would recommend that you choose auto to allow the camera for automatically choosing the frequency which is matching that of the local power supply. Now let's move to microphone sensitivity. This function is used to turn the built-in or external microphones on or off or adjust microphone sensitivity. Number one to adjust the sensitivity automatically. Number two, turn off the microphone so that there is no sound recording. Or three, select the manual to adjust the microphone sensitivity by choosing the value between B1 and B20. The higher the value, the higher the sensitivity. 
At settings other than automatic, the option currently selected is shown by an icon in the display. Please note, if the sound level is in red, the volume is too high. You should reduce the microphone sensitivity. Audio and sound is the most important second half of the movie. Whether it is a Bollywood blockbuster or a wedding video, documentary short film or a home movie. Many Nikon HD SLRs and mirrorless cameras have microphone built in. In some, you even have a stereo microphone built in. You can purchase an optional microphone from Nikon. Let's look at the audio levels also. When capturing audio using the built-in mic or accessory mic, the most important detail is to control the audio levels. Nikon's newest HD SLR and mirrorless cameras have peak audio meters built in and the audio levels are visible on the LCD in the live view. As the audio level rises, they will be represented on an audio scale. The audio level scale is broken into three distinct sections. White is the largest section of audio measurement. This is where your audio should fall. In the yellow, if the audio falls in this area, it is at the top end of the acceptable audio levels. And if it is red, the high end of this range will be distorted. It is suggested while capturing audio for your videos, you should always do a test check of the audio levels in live view and adjust if necessary. The audio levels should be adjusted before pressing the record button. If you notice the uh, audio levels rising into red, simply reduce the audio sensitivity until the audio level drops into yellow or the white area. So let's also look at now wind noise reduction. When you're recording and there is some wind that is blowing, it has the ability to create noise in the video. So in order to reduce the noise of its wind, many external mics have, have devices which helps you to reduce the noise reduction. In the Nikon camera, if you select on to enable the low cut filter, which reduces the noise produced by wind blowing over the built-in microphone, it will help you reduce the wind noise. Please note, this may also affect the other sounds. Selecting on for wind noise reduction has no effect on the optional stereo microphones. In the Nikon cameras, you can also fix headphones by plugging the headphones into the camera. You can adjust the headphone volume and the playing option with the volume button. This is the last of the Nikon menu. Please put your comments in the box below. I will try to do my best to answer any questions if you have any. My next video will be about the DJI Ronin RSC2. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon so that when I upload my next video, you can get notified. And please do not forget to comment.